Before we get to the actual surgery, I'm gonna do a little gallbladder 101 for everyone. The gallbladder is a non-essential organ. It sits right underneath the liver. So here's the liver, here is a healthy gallbladder. It can be the size of a pear if it's filled with bile, but think of a gallbladder as a storage vehicle. It stores bile. After you eat a meal, what happens is the gallbladder will release that bile to help digest your foods. The problem is, Dr. Brunel, sometimes the gallbladder will actually develop stones, gallstones in Rachel's case, and it needs to come out. So how did you, how did you perform the procedure on Rachel? We performed it laparoscopically. It's minimally invasive surgery. And what you're able to do is put a tiny camera through the belly button and then through three stab incisions, we can actually remove the gallbladder. And as you could see, uh, it's a very safe surgery and the patients are usually able to get back to their normal activities within about seven days. And I, I wanna walk everyone through the progression of what happens when your gallbladder may need to come out. So occasionally you can develop stones. These are rather large stones, <laughs> but as an example, this is a very large gallbladder. These stones can get in your gallbladder, and particularly if they get lodged in one of the ducts, it can cause major problems, also a lot of pain. If the, if the stones are just floating around in your gallbladder, you may not have any pain, you may not even know you have stones, but if it gets caught in a duct, you can develop a lot of pain, and people will come into the emergency department all the time. We call it right upper quadrant abdominal pain, it can be worse after meals. There can be a lot of nausea and vomiting associated with it. And that's a situation where with the gallstones, you may voluntarily take out the gallbladder. Mm -hmm. So briefly, stones form why? So storms form when certain substances like cholesterol crystallize within the bile. And so once that's happened, you will either, like you said, sometimes have pain or sometimes you will not have pain. If you start to have the pain, that's the time to actually get it taken out. And, and you raise such a great point because there are different reasons to take the gallbladder out. Number one is if you're having significant pain from gallstones, it's time to take the gallbladder out. But I have another example of a diseased gallbladder here because unfortunately, if that duct gets blocked, what can happen is you can develop an infection of the gallbladder called cholecystitis. This is a gallbladder hanging below the liver. I don't know if you all can see that, but there's inflammation around the wall. I'm gonna hold it right up to the healthy one, if we can get that side by side. And there, there is a distinct difference, and it's really hard to see grossly here, but this gallbladder is inflamed, it's infected. This person comes into the emergency department with right upper quadrant abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, fevers, and we'll do an ultrasound, and oftentimes it'll show wall thickening, and that's when it can become more serious if it's not taken care of. Right, and in those cases, it's actually an emergency surgery. Sometimes you actually end up with the old-fashioned, very large incision, painful, in the hospital for seven days. So when you start to have these pains, uh, which basically is after you eat, is typical of it, that's when the time to actually get it checked out. Thank you so much for being here. No we really appreciate it.